thank you all for coming out. I'm Karen Rudd. I manage Norfolk Arts for the city of Norfolk. And um, we have lots of people here who need to be thanked. And we're probably going to spend about the next 15 minutes thanking people. This was really a team effort. Um, we're, we'll hear from Mayor Alexander in a minute. I see um, Councilman Smeagol. Thanks for coming this morning. Um, members of the public art, uh, uh, the new Norfolk Arts Commission, Barbara, Devon, um, Diana, others. Um, every piece of public art is put together with a committee of stakeholders. And this is a really special piece that um, had an even bigger team than we usually have that will, you'll hear from some of those and hopefully in the next few minutes what really a great project is. But so people who were on the public, on the committee, who helped select the artist and work through the design process, like Joanne and come on, you guys helped, Mary. Thank you all. It um, is kind of a labor of love. Most people like doing it, but it does involve some time and commitment and even maybe a little turmoil. I don't know. <laughs> um, so I want to thank you all. Coastal Virginia Plain Air. Um, again, we'll hear some more about who they are. They're a nonprofit organization here in Ocean View that does this amazing thing, brings um, plein air artists to the community and raises funds, and they actually paid for half of the piece. So um, it's a really special public-private partnership that we're so excited to be a part of. So now, it is my great pleasure to introduce our great mayor of the great city of Norfolk, um, who I just want to say is a staunch supporter of the arts. He's a mu musical talent, and in his younger years um, was um, a chorus conductor and um, was in the band, and maybe I'll let him tell you so I don't mess that up too. <laughs> but most importantly, he's a mayor that's taking Norfolk to the next level, building an art-filled, culturally diverse coastal community of the future. So please help me welcome Mayor Alexander. Good morning. Thank you very much for that short and warm introduction. Uh, I do want um, to say something about Tommy Smeagol. Uh, you know, I don't have a, a better partner on the Norfolk City Council uh, than your representative, Tommy Smeagol, who represents Ward 5. Tommy is a strong advocate for, for the city, but I tell you, he fights tooth and nail for every penny for OV. <laughs> And uh, he, um, uh, t Tommy uh, understands the budget. Uh, I, I mean, we were just talking with Linda about uh, getting more out of some of the federal rescue uh, funds for, for Ocean View. And um, you'll be pleased with uh, the manager's report. And the reason you're going to be pleased is because Tommy and I and, and others uh, advocated that um, we need to take care of not only the South Side, but Ocean View and other parts of the city that traditionally have not gotten the attention and the funding. And so, Tommy, thank you for your partnership and your leadership. And uh, can we give Tommy a round of applause? Um, well, well, thanks for, for being here for the uh, unveiling of Chris Shellis. Public art you know, celebration in Norfolk is, is, is not new. And I want to thank the commission and Karen and all, all of you for your leadership. You know, art has the power to, to energize. It's um, energize our public spaces and our places. It stimulates learning and creativity. It transforms landscape. And it makes where we live, work, and play uh, to be a very pleasant place. And the city, as diverse as ours, you know, public art is something that brings us together. With so much division in the world and in America, be it racial division, political division, religious division, it's good when we can come around together around something that we all can agree, that we can celebrate, and shows our humanity and our togetherness. And I want to thank all of you for being here this morning together as one, one Norfolk, one community, to celebrate life and the quality of life and humanity. While Norfolk has displayed artwork throughout the city for many years, the Public Art Commission was formally established in 2008 with the opportunity to to take Norfolk to that next level. And I want to thank all the volunteers for your time, your talent, your resources, and your continued work uh, to bring vibrant art uh, to the city of Norfolk and vibrant pieces like we see today. This beautiful design 
uh, was created by Eileen Gay, uh, and she used to work with uh, Walt Disney, a Walt Disney fellow scholar. And so it's no surprise that this, un mo this unique mosaic piece of art is vibrant and magical and special, and uh, it's beautiful. So again, thank you very much. I'm happy that we're here. I'm happy that we're in Ocean View, and I'm happy that we're in the best city, in the best state, in the best country in the world. Thank you. Wow, Ocean View to the best in the world. I just heard that. <laughs> Um, it really is. It's really been a super fun place to work, I have to say. Um, and also, I'm going to say now I would like to introduce a really super fun teammate who's been a great supporter of the arts all over Norfolk for um, actually probably a really longer time than maybe we even care to admit. Uh, but certainly since the public art program started, Dr. Barbara Laws. And Dar you maybe know Dr. Laws, she retired as the senior coordinator um, of art, visual arts for Norfolk Public Schools. So if you have kids in schools who have great art teachers, it's probably to the credit of Barbara. Um, I know she also works really hard in Virginia on the art curriculum and making sure that the arts are really vital in um, our schools around the state. Um, she currently serves as Virginia Art Education Association Policy Chair, Virginia Coalition for Fine Arts Education Legislative Liaison, and um, she's on actually the Arts and Humanities Commission and the Public Art Commission, which um, in the next month will become one big Norfolk Arts Commission, and um, Barbara is, what, has agreed to do that. She, um, in her spare time, besides walking seven or eight miles um, regularly, she is a book artist and a calligrapher, and um, the arts in Norfolk really would not be what they are today if it wasn't for Barbara Laws. Karen's a little taller. Um, good morning, everybody. What an exciting day. Thank you, um, Karen, and thank you, Mayor Alexander. We're fortunate in Norfolk to have um, support for the arts from both the mayor's office and from Tommy Smigel and his uh, colleagues on the city council. So we really appreciate that. I represent the Public Arts Commission, which seeks to create a rich, diverse environment that reflects, celebrates, and invites all to experience the arts. I'd like to insert a small commercial here uh, if you are interested in the many public arts spread across the city, and that's in all different neighborhoods, uh, please check out the Norfolk Arts webpage on the Norfolk website. You'll find locations, photos, and short descriptions, and you can go find your way um, to the different works. But today, uh, we are excited to dedicate the sculpture Chrysalis by artist Eileen Gay. Um, I was fortunate to serve among the, along with the members of the Ocean View community and um, city professionals on the selection committee for this piece. Um, the process involves determining what the intent of the project is, describing community qualities to, to be taken into consideration by the selected artist, uh, developing and sending out a prospectus, and reviewing all of the artist's proposals that come in. Um, it's, it's a wonderful group collaborative effort. Um, it, it takes, as Karen said, some time, but it's a, it's a wonderful time to spend together and you make friends across the city that you wouldn't otherwise. I've really enjoyed getting to know uh, folks on this committee. Eileen's portfolio submission really appealed to us due partly to her use of mosaics in previous artworks, and I think you'll agree that uh, this work, depicting a shell opening to sunrise, is a stunning, thoughtful, and fitting piece for Ocean View and for the community. Funding of this project is the result of a partnership between Coastal Virginia Plain Air and the Norfolk Public Art Commission. I'm sure our next speaker, Monica, will tell you more about this. We on the Commission are excited about the possibilities of partnerships and have continued to pursue them. And so our next uh, speaker 
is Monica Johnson. She's a founding member of Coastal Plain Air and co-chairs with Joanne Taylor and Mary Vinson, who are right over there, uh, the, the Plain Air group. Uh, she's a marketing professional who's worked with major real estate developers across the country and developed a keen understanding of how the role of public art and how it could enhance the experiences of people who came to live in or visit a community. She fell in love with Ocean View and moved from New York in 2009 and we're so happy she did. Um, she's an oil painter and a member of several organizations and we're glad to have her in Ocean View. It's been a pleasure with working with her, Joanne and Mary, and the members of the selection committee. Thank you all for being here with us today and to help us celebrate. Thank you, Barbara. And thank you all for being here. We certainly could not have done it with so many so many people and I wish I had time to call out everyone who has helped us through whether it's funding or work or hosting artists or whatever it might be just know that you're greatly appreciated yesterday I received an email from a supporter her name is Lolan and she wrote this to me and I thought it was very appropriate for today she says I remember being young and poor I always made sure to have a little beauty in the house to keep my spirits up I would do without other things so that I could do that. Public art is important that way. It stirs the heart and soul. It makes us think. It brings us joy. I'm so happy you guys do this. Well, we do it with a lot of people. Joanne Taylor, Mary Vinson, my partners, we started um, as a not-for-profit organization in 2018 and we raise money for public art and education in Ocean View, where we live, because we feel it's so important. Every year we bring in a number of artists, usually somewhere between 18 and 20, who do plein air painting. Plein air painting is painting out of doors in real life and they paint for several days. We have friends who put them up in their homes and feed them and they paint and paint and then at the end of the week we throw a huge party and we invite everyone we know and we invite you to come to our next one which will be April 24th, I'm sorry, 20th to the 24th of 2022. We hold that party and we sell their work and they give us a portion of the proceeds. Those proceeds then help fund the public art and education initiatives through the Coastal VA Plein Air. This is our first public um, statue with Norfolk Arts and we couldn't have done it. They raised half the money and gave us such support. It's just been amazing. We are already well on our way to funding a second statue. And again, we need your help with that. We have purchased watercolor sets for every child in Ocean View Elementary School and their teachers had developed a curriculum so that they can too learn to love art and express themselves and look ahead in hope and dream. We have fu um, funded a workshop with a master artist, Zufar Bikbav, at the Norfolk uh, Botanical Gardens where we had intermediate and master artists come and learn more so that when they come and paint with us, again, the paintings will be even more beautiful. Coastal VA Plein Air is a collection of people who care passionately about Ocean View and want to help make it a better place. We develop relationships with too many people and organizations to name here. I could go on and on. Artists and sponsors, businesses, volunteers, and community members. And we have found a progressive and amazing partner with Norfolk Arts, the city, and the city of Norfolk. Thank you so much. Community is a feeling of fellowship with others as a result of sharing common attitudes, interests, and goals. And we all share in our mission to build community through art. We believe art is for everyone. Every person, no matter their age or life experience, can be touched by the beauty and the imagination and the benefits of public art. Thank you, Eileen, for the beauty of Crescellus. May it stir the heart and souls of those who encounter its beauty, make them think, and bring them joy. Thank you. Um, 
yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I can follow that up, but I um, again want to say, what a really fabulous team we had in Ocean View. I mean, really, not just the money. It started out with a financial partnership that um, has really become a kind of great friendship that um, is so nice and warm to be working here. But now I want you to hear from Eileen Gay. And um, so I don't know, I've been doing this for more years than I probably want to say, even in other cities and states. And I don't know if Eileen knows this, but I remember her name and her work for many, maybe 30 years. And so if there are any artists in here, I want to say to you, I have probably sent Eileen um, over the years, maybe as many as 20 or 30 no letters, which um, as artists, we all know how that feels when we get them. Um, so it was um, super excited to finally be working with her. Um, I've always wanted a colorful mosaic piece in the collection in Norfolk. And um, finding the perfect artist for the perfect site, for the perfect time, um, Eileen really fulfilled that. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit. She was um, selected through an open RFP process. I see a few artists in here, so it is just like bidding on any other sorts of things. Um, Eileen has a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree from the California Institute of Arts. And um, as Mayor Alexander mentioned, she was a Walt Disney Fellowship Scholar for four years. So maybe she can tell us the secrets of Walt Disney. I don't know. Um, and she's completed public art sculptures around the U.S. for the past 16 years. So we're really lucky to have a piece of hers on the oceanfront. Eileen? I too am not as tall as Karen. <laughs> well, thank you everyone. I, as you can tell, it takes a village. And what a village. Um, a lot of good people came together to fund something for the area. And that's love of the area that you're seeing. Uh, and I, I love that they're continuing forward with the idea of more sculptures and they're working on their second piece. Um, as an artist, you know, you guys did a lot of heavy lifting. Um, this almost feels easy after hearing all about that. It, it was like eight months of my labor of love, um, putting things together, finding, finding the materials. Um, uh, the community itself was the inspiration for the piece. Um, and I know that uh, the state shell is an oyster and that's sort of where I started my first little seed of thought. And Karen gave me a wonderful video tour of the park so I could choose my location. Um, we did have the challenge of this is the first time I have created a piece for a site I've never physically been in. So when I showed up with, uh, when we rolled up with the, the work in the crate, I had never been here before. Um, and it's in the right spot. Yes. <laughs> I think, you know, it feels like it's, it's meant to be right there. So I'm, I'm very happy to shepherd Chrysalis home. And I appreciate Mayor Alexander and the arts people and the coastal Virginia plein air, um, your efforts, my efforts, a gift to Ocean, Ocean View. And I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Mayor Alexander, will you help us? Barbara, will you help us? Monica. Who else? I have lots and lots of scissors. Joanne and Mary. <laughs> Linda Miller. Linda. Um, um, look straight ahead. It will cut on three. Do not turn around. One, two, three. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, I tell you, a mayor who will pick up after himself. There you go. <laughs> um, so I'm going to invite you um, donuts and coffee, courtesy of Coastal Virginia Plain Air. And then, you know, it, a new beginning is um, only leading to the next project. So in Norfolk, we actually um, paid and um, had an RFP and hired 20 local art, uh, poets and then have created stencils of their poems. Anyone who would like to paint a poem on the sidewalk in Ocean View, if you will meet me at the back of the truck, 
We'll, um, I'll give you some stencils and some paint that does not come out of your clothes. And, um, and then we'll see if we can um, spread out a little bit and get some poems on the sidewalks in Ocean View. Um, you'll find them through, on sidewalks throughout Norfolk. So um, anyway, local poets and a little moment of poetry. Thank you all. Thanks for coming.